Hey, hey, hey. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What up, what up, what up, what up? I'm gonna put the music mute until. At the end of the day, this is such valuable land. None of the new hotels would ever do this. You know what I mean? So enjoy this while it lasts. It can't go on forever. But because of this, I mean, you say whatever you want, Bellagio. Uh, and, and because of all this, these restaurants here at the Bellagio Fountain restaurants, they're still the, uh, the biggest thing to do. No more F1 stuff. No. It's gonna go on for another year or so. I mean, another three years for sure. Hey guys, there's people down there at, below Mayfair. Hey guys, there's a TV show right next to me going. Hey guys, you gotta hire a photographer and uh, not, let, not let them do their thing. That's just weird. Yeah, there's people that live stream. Guys, let me try to connect onto Wi Fi here. The connection's so bad here. All right. What up, Michael? 
Michael Canton Loza. My eyes are bad. I can't read the, uh, the names fully, but uh, thank you. Um, microwave, I think yeah, there's no more F1 stuff. It's all cleared out. Absolutely all cleared out. All cleared out. And it wasn't the case a week ago. So you had these people of like 20, 30 people working 24 hours and they got it all cleared up. Hey, hey, hey. You know, I thought it was gonna go off every 15 minutes, but right now, I guess it's every half hour, but yeah. They got the uh, the whole sidewalk open, my like, yeah. They, I I don't think these are new trees. But yeah, they got the trees in. Yeah, whoever thought the trees weren't ever gonna come back, like don't ever listen to those people, man. Like, how do you not gonna think the trees are not gonna come back? That, that was so crazy what the media was trying to portray. Like, ah, the trees are gone. Like, it's gonna be gone forever. Like, that was so unbelievable for, for anyone to even think that. Like, crazy. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, let me know when you're ready and I'll press start. Hey, some, some weird stuff is going on to our left. Hey, hey, hey. Can you show us new trees? Yep, Michael, these are the trees. They all look like it's back to normal. All right, y'all, thumbs up, throw the thumbs up button. The fountain show will be coming up in a little bit. If you have any Vegas questions, feel free to let me know, comment below. All right, I want to put on my jacket. I think so. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a gimbal. Yeah, yeah, it's a gimbal. Yeah. Got it at the Apple Store. Give it to me. So I was like, okay. Yeah. I've been looking for this, but I'm not wearing. <laughs> well, you, you you're doing good. I try. Yeah, you're doing. I thought it was gonna be every 15 minutes, but I didn't realize it's still not even the clock. But the word is probably going out to them real quick. The photo booth, tarot car readings, the water wa water bottle drinkers. All right, all right, all right, all right. So back to my story. Collectively, yeah, these restaurants because they have the benefit of this fountain view from the restaurants and from the patio side, so forth and so forth. Like I, I, I don't think. Uh, these are the iconic 
biggest restaurants to this day. Especially like Picasso. And if you like steak, Prime. Prime, it's not the best of steaks. It's really not at Prime. It is a John George restaurant. And I actually prefer John George restaurant over at Aria, over this Prime here. But in this restaurant at Prime, yeah, it's elegant, it's high end, so forth and so forth. But, I mean, during the summers, you're sitting out on the patio and the fountains go off. I mean, it is iconic. All right, guys, here we go. What should we do in our spot? We're standing watching. Pick your nose, just pick your nose or something. All right, yeah. And this is a new, this is a new song, guys. This is a new song. We are back. So that was a Christmas special music. I don't think I've heard that here before. Uh, I could be tripping, but uh, that, that hallelujah music, haven't heard that here before. You know what I'm saying? So that's the Boulevard Tower, and that's the uh, Chelsea Tower. Think of Boulevard Tower as this tower. Think of uh, Chelsea Tower as the spa tower. A little bit more quiet, uh, more resort quiet feel in there. This is where the casino is located. The lobby is on the other side, but uh, yeah. And they have two pools. They have pools over here and a pool over here. The pool over here is a little bit more quieter, more subdued. Pool over here is overlooking the strip on this side. It's also kind of quiet, but more livelier on this side. And you have options to either or interchangeable, each, each, whichever tower you stay at. I prefer the Boulevard Tower for me, but now that Cosmopolitan has a bridge connecting Cosmopolitan to the Bellagio back there, I do have a video on that, check it out. And plus you have a walkway directly now over to Aria. 
So now it's like I don't mind staying at uh, to, to Chelsea side as well. So that's a benefit. All right, cool story. And that's a jockey club there. You don't have to be a jockey to stay there, but the property itself looks so small now with the two big giants built right pretty much on top of it, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, if you're brand new in here, wondering what's going on, absolutely nothing, but uh, if you're in here, might as well push that thumbs up button. Let's get it going. Why not, right? These are the Bellagio Fountain Restaurant. And to this day, I think if someone recommends me or asks me, hey, what restaurant? I'm in Vegas for a night, my first time in Vegas, so forth and so forth. And they want to have the Vegas experience, dine, dining experience. Any of these restaurants will do, depending on what your budget is. Now, if your budget is, you know, no budget, you can Picasso, Prime, and I guess any of these restaurants, you spend whatever you like. But if you have a certain budget criteria, that's a good balance. Even Lago is a good balance. Lago or Spago. And uh, maybe Jasmine. But Jasmine, you're kind of not close to the fountain action. All right. So a little budget conscience. Go to Lago, Spago, and the beauty of those two. They're open during the daytime as well for brunch. But outside of that, you can't go wrong with the, any other thing. If you want to watch a show and a dinner, something different, something more for a nighttime situation, Mayfair. And they do have an outside corridor. There are a few tables out there we could enjoy. But if you want to go all out, have that Vegas, Vegas experience, Picasso is the one. It's a Michelin two star. Price, uh, $200, $250, $300 per person situation. Although, you know, you could probably get, get away with $150 per person. Cool story. And Picasso's been here since day one of uh, Bellagio's opening. And I think most of these restaurants were here. So Spago is the last restaurant to jump in because uh, I think Todd Hamilton had a restaurant there called Olive before Spago, but I got his name wrong, right? Something Todd Hamilton or something like that. But anyways, that dude got into that uh, little trouble situation, so they had to kick him out. He's actually at Virgin now, the restaurant over at Virgin. But before Spago, Wolfgang Puck, who was right over at the Spago at the Caesars for many years, uh, he was the one who kick-started this celebrity restaurant situation in the late 70s and the 80s, Wolfgang Puck. He moved over here once uh, there was an opening to do so. All right, cool story, cool story. Uh, the only restaurant I don't have a video edited of is uh, Le Cirque. Because when I went to Le Cirque, which is sort of hidden right there, I just didn't film in there. I drank a little bit in there. And it was like, I was like sort of embarrassed to film because uh, I was not alone. I don't like to film when I'm not alone unless there's clear, clear okay to do so. But even then, it just feels weird to film when there's, I'm eating with other people or so forth and so forth. All right, y'all. Cool story. Do you live stream at Fremont Street? Live band and crazy entertainment. Lee, sometimes I do. Generally, I don't like to go down there if I don't have to go down there. I'll, I'll fill it once in a while, but I don't have any immediate plans to go down there anytime soon. But again, that could happen like that could change just like that. That could change it just like that. If you have any uh, biggest questions, feel free to let me know. If I don't have the answer, I'll try to get you the answer. But the point here is, yes, it's open. The trees are back. I feel they're spread out a little bit more than before. Um, there used to be a tree here, but I feel like this is a better proposition. It's sort of clear, wide open. Especially, in, yeah, there used to be a couple of trees here. But for what they got, not too bad. Because with all the street vendors that's kept coming in here, like it's good to have a little bit extra space here because uh, all these street vendors, they do allocate a lot of space. Because it's not like they have a little, little, little circle area. Like some of them, they have a big old elaborate setup. For example, here, he has that bar set up where he takes about, you know, 15 feet of space. Hey, get your hustle on, people. <laughs> Who likes Elvis impersonators? Well, I like the movie called uh, Leaving Las Vegas. No, no, Honeymoon in Las Vegas with uh, Nicolas Cage. 
And uh, what's her name? Sarah Jessica, Jessica Parker. And James Caan is in, is in that movie. If you like Vegas movies, that's one of the best movies, I think. Honeymoon in Vegas. Very different from Leaving Las Vegas. And that has a very cool little Vegas impersonator video or footage in there. Hey, hey, hey. So again, traditionally, Traditionally, the weeks, the days leading up to Christmas and to New Year's is not busy. Even on the weekends, relatively speaking, it's usually what they call slow periods here. So right now as I'm walking around, I'm sure people are checking in, doing their thing. It's not too busy at all. Not too busy. The traffic is flowing nicely. Not bad at all. I am parked at the Cosmopolitan, so I can't deviate too far from away from it. So maybe we'll stick around here for a little bit. If, uh, if anyone, I don't know who's watching, but if you're brand new in here, wondering what's going on. JL. Who? JL. Oh. Oh. oh hey. That's hey. How are you? Wait, wait. wait. You. Yeah, I, I was like. Oh, I was like JL. I'm like, what are you talking about? Uh, we're, you're not wearing all black. No, I'm not what, what, what's going on? So this came out Wednesday. Oh, for real? I saw your life. Yeah, I'm, I'm live right, right now. Gotcha. I couldn't find you because uh, hey. it was lagging. Nice to meet you. I'm Doug, by the way. Oh, yeah. that's your name, yeah. Doug. My name is Jason. Jason. That's short day with. Day with? Nice. So you just here visiting? Yeah, visiting. I'm moving tomorrow, like I said. I'm moving tomorrow. Did, did you gamble a little bit? Ah, uh, I'm supposed to gamble, but lost. A little and, uh, bit? I figured out, I'm like, thanks. Cause, Cause you didn't wear all black. <laughs> what, what happened? You're supposed to wear all black. I should have. You know? I should have. Yeah, that's why you got the, 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 the hookup at the Giada's yeah, or something I like that. I didn't know it worked. Cause I was just wearing all black and they just moved me to the... It's not worth, it's not worth 40 bucks. Right, right, right. right. No, no, well, no, not, not even close. Like, why would you want to pay that? You know, it's like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, did you, did you know that this was opening up today? I, did, I had no clue. I thought maybe this weekend. I saw a YouTuber. It was open. It was open. But not, I'm not sure about this morning. Yes, it was closed. Right, 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 right. So it was still all the still working. There. Right. No, I, I was here last week and they still had the stands here last week. Oh, wow. Yeah, they still had the stands oh, yeah, last I week. You drove. Was I, that, what day was that? I drove in this time around, I think Monday. Okay. I was watching on work. And I yeah. It's the connection. It's a little laggy, late. Yeah. Yeah, because every time you read, it was a little while back. <laughs> so I wait, was waiting for the answer. Right. Yeah. No, yeah, a little laggy and boom, boom, boom. And then I didn't know I was going to stay this long. Because, oh, like, okay. it's, I, I, right now I'm at, I don't know, where, I'm at Caesars right now. Okay. Yeah. But my car is over there at Cosmopolitan right now, so. Free parking for you? I think so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, for sure. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks for stopping yeah. by. Yeah. yeah. Nice you, give me a thumbs up. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. What up, guys? Yeah, uh, we, we had a, uh, <coughs> a viewer stop by and say hi. I, I, was, throwing, I was throwing off because, uh, you know, I'm not used to people walking up to me, like, you know, I guess recognizing me or whatever, however you say it. Anyways, hey, hey, hey. Do you live stream for your mom? Lee, what's up? Lee, who likes Elvis? And Buy your drinks at CVS. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Lee. You're in Vegas right now, or did you say you're out of town? I forgot what you said. I can't keep track of Lee. All I know is, like, you think I'm Bruce Lee. That's it. End the story. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, it's still strange to me how the sun just goes down so quick. <clears throat> the weather is, this is perfect, guys. Perfect amount of chillness to get, let you know that, hey, it's winter, but warm enough for you to kind of do whatever you want to do. You know, you just got to wear some warm underwear. That's about it. I love this a crowd flow right now. It's not too packed. It's just got enough people to make it interesting. Nothing too crazy. A lot of families. Uh, not too much wobbling yet. I guess it's too early in the night or early early in the evening. Everyone's walking straight. 
uh, probably just maybe heading to dinner or maybe, oh no, he's wobbling a little bit. There's a little wobble here. <laughs> There's a little wobble here. Wobble, wobble. Hey, 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 welcome to the channel. I believe there should be some brand new viewers kicking in here. And if you're wondering what's going on, absolutely nothing. If you have any Vegas related questions, feel free to chime in. If I don't have the answer, I will go get you the answer. Hua! Hey, hey, hey. I do mostly edited videos of Vegas rooms, food, and extras. Uh, this is a live stream. This is not an edited video, so don't think this is an edited video. Uh, check out my edited videos, and if you find any of those useful, we're hoping it would lead you to subscribing and watching future videos. That's the that's the thing that's going on here. Hey, hey, hey. Appreciate the thumbs up. Every one of your pushes for those thumbs up makes a huge impact for a little micro channel like this one that's going on. So, you know, if you're somewhat not offended by this live stream and you catch yourself watching this for more than 30 seconds, push that thumbs up button before you go. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, traffic is not too bad for a Friday evening. Usually around this time, leading up to dinner time, it's usually just pack, pack, pack. Not too bad. Uh, you eat crab legs at weekend? Yes, I did. I ate the crab legs. Usually I'm not a crab type of guy, crabby guy, but I did eat some legs, and their legs today was much better than the legs I had last time I came. Uh, they're, I can, yeah, they're, for buffet legs, I think when they're at their best, Cosmopolitan Wicked Spoon, their best legs are better than the best legs at uh, Bacchanal and uh, Wind Buffet. Yeah, their, their legs are better here. Plus, it's cheaper here too. Um, although they don't offer it at night since they're not open at night, dinner time. But generally speaking, their, their crab legs here are better than Bacchanal and uh, Wicked Spoon. No, not Wind Buffet. And I'm starting to learn how to crack them and do my thing now. Got a little system down, so yeah. Yeah, Joy, if you want to go tomorrow, let me know. You know, I got the two for one special. <laughs> Although I think they're charging holiday prices. So it's not like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. On, on, they're, they're doing a holiday special. Uh, they had a lamb shank out today and their ribeye today, not the ribeye, they had the, uh, some kind of a tri tip. It was good. Their tri-tip was really good today. And it seemed like they were charging the uh, special kind of a buffet price. I didn't pay, uh, but I think it was about 60, 65 bucks, I think. That's what, that's what it worked out to. Usually it's around 55 bucks or 45 bucks. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let's do a little walk back and forth. I am thinking about going to Durango, jumping in my car. But maybe right now is not the good time since, you know, in Vegas, there is traffic, guys, in Vegas. There's rush hour traffic in Vegas, even outside of the strip here. On the freeway, there's some traffic. All right, guys. I feel a little, I, I, I sound a little stuffy here because uh, I guess I am stuffy. Yeah, trees are back. The only tree that is not back is in the center marquee area. There was, I think, a series of two trees there, but that is not back yet. And honestly, the way it's set up, I don't think they need trees there. We, you know, that extra space seems like, you know, a little open space that we could use these days here. So that was cool. I got I got to meet a uh, a viewer of ours. That's very cool. <laughs> it just was very caught me off guard. Like I'm like who? What? what, what? I was like what? what, what? <laughs> I thought he was trying to ask me for directions or something. You, you know, like uh, <laughs> how do I find <laughs> how do I find love? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh. Wahlburgers, the Redneck Riviera. 
Giordano's. I haven't tried the pizza place yet. Giordano's Pizza, Chicago Thick. Hey, what up? That's a cool little. That's a cool truck. Thank you for all the thumbs up. Comes on, me da. Comes on, me da. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe I should have a code word if someone runs up like that. Cause like, honestly, yeah, because it. I think it's only happened once or twice. Actually, maybe three times where they ran up. Like, hey, dog. But the other two times was because I met them the night before or something. So I met them in person. So I kind of recognize them because I've seen them. No, you know what? Yeah, yeah, something like that. But uh, just a total viewer running up. It's just uh, I'm never ready for it. <laughs> all right, I'll shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm all bragging. <laughs> Oh, uh, Stas. <laughs> I was uh, sharing a story when I was driving out today where I got honked at and I felt like it wasn't justified. And I don't mind you honking, but the person behind me kept on honking and, and held the honk. And I had nowhere to go because I can't move. So I guess he means to honk at the person in front of me. I guess maybe that's his intent because it was one of those big old trucks. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, I can't take more than five seconds of that. So then I got, so then I stuck my hand out out of my uh, window and I, I gave him the finger and I held it there. You know, I held the finger up, thumbs up. Feel, <laughs> I held the finger up until he, he stopped, but he wasn't stopping. He kept on going for about a minute. I'm like, go on, you can't, I have nowhere to go. Keep on holding it because people are going to look at you thinking you're the douchebag. So eventually he stopped and then later on we we're coming over here. We're around this area and then and then he's behind me and then he's coming next to me and then we just said, he just said like this and we just said like that and we call it a day. A little, little misunderstanding, but hey, I got it out of my system, he got it out of his system and we're cool. Just, he drove back in his big old truck <laughs> and then that was that. Hopefully he's having a good day and obviously I'm having a good day, so we all good. Hey, hey, hey. But I, th I thought that was a pretty good move, though, for me to stick my finger up there and leave it up there until he stopped honking. <laughs> Watch me go viral. What, what if all this time he was filming me and he's a big, big TikTok star or something? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hopefully I'll still have the support of you guys if that happens. <laughs> hey, you know... I don't use that signage often, not at all actually, but once in a while, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Alright y'all. Yeah, for the most part, all the trees are back. Um, what up Phil? Good to see the sidewalk there is open now. It was just there Wednesday and it was still closed. Yes. It was closed yesterday. And last week, they still had the stands. A lot of the stands, a lot of the skeletons still up last week. So for them to just kind of pull everything off, it took a while because they had to do all those little intricate, intricate little, little pieces that they had to remove that took a long time. Especially those lighting rails. That took a lot of time, I think, because uh, there was a lot of components to that. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we'll just sort of hang out here for a little bit, maybe, maybe watch one more show, and then we'll navigate, maybe we'll navigate towards this way, Aria, or should we go to the Link Promenade area? I don't know. During my live streams, I always gravitate towards that way to the Link Promenade in hopes to see maybe, I guess I just, my body just wants to see uh, Momo and have some drinks with Momo. But we could always go back this way, jump in my car, and then kind of reposition ourselves as well. I do have the option to navigate out of here with the car. So since I haven't had anything to drink, I had a beer during my uh, buffet session, one beer, so I'm totally fine. Wait, I know her from somewhere. Damn, damn where does she work? Where does she work? Oh, I hate, I hate, I hate having that feeling because I just saw someone. 
and I know her from ah this is bothering me hang in there guys I'm going through this like collective where does she work where does she work ah ah wait no you know what I'll give it up I hate having that when you see a face and you know like you know her from somewhere but especially when you know she works somewhere that you frequent often <laughs> no not, not at spearmint rhinos guys no 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 <laughs> peppermint maybe peppermint what up guys appreciate all the thumbs up comes on me down all your little thumbs ups little pushes whatever you're doing however you're watching this you know what i found out guys some people watch these live streams or my youtube videos some people watch youtube on their tvs <laughs> i didn't even know too much about that because uh to put it in perspective i don't have a tv at the house i still have a uh, I still have a tube TV from like 1992 that I use once every three years to play, you know, PlayStation 2 on. When do you do live? Hi, Joey. Wicked Spoon. Good to know. You gave him the bird. Oh, I gave him, well, I, I didn't just give him the bird. I just, I let it stay there in a cage and held it there until he stopped honking. <laughs> you know, I think I had the upper hand there. Cause like, you can honk all you want. We're not, there's nowhere to go. For, I can't move anywhere. Hey, hey, hey. I'm in North Carolina. <laughs> Tell you, all right, Lee. <laughs> Did you eat crab legs? I, yes, I did. Good. Boom, boom, boom. Hi, Joy. How is life in Afghanistan? Weather better. better than, <laughs> hey, Lee's, hey, Lee's drinking too much. Whatever Lee's doing, big ups to Lee. When you go live stream, more of your subscribers will say, hey, hey, hey. Best channel on YouTube. Hey, hey. I told you guys that Lee is tripping, guys. Mexican card slappers. All right, guys, the show will be starting here. Let's start you off in this far end and we'll navigate towards the other end. Uh, it's good to see the sidewalk open. And I guess it's the news hasn't fully spread because there's not too many vendors at this moment. The vendors, I saw one vendor setting up, but I'm having a feeling that it was slated to open tomorrow. But anyways, here we go. Here we go. And dude, the water level seems higher than four feet. Or maybe, because guys, the, the water level is about four feet, but I'm looking at it right now. It looks like maybe it's four and a half feet. <laughs> no, it seems higher, the water level. can't quite pick it up but just trust trust thank you for that thumbs up appreciate that you know that one thumbs up that one extra one that's 10% of what we got so that's a huge impact for a channel like this one appreciate it Durango Durango one take this is a nice view yes it is it's a very nice view <laughs> Uh, it is a nice view. I like, you know, this view never gets old for me. To this day, it still doesn't get old. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one having those sentiments. I mean, yeah, let's, I really appreciate MGM for retaining this because this land could be utilized for so much other things. And I don't know how much they actually generate money from here, but But they are the iconic property because of all this. And this, this you can't beat this in Vegas, guys. This is a, a free show, totally free, uh, even from the restaurants. You can watch it from the restaurants. Of course, you gotta buy the restaurant, but they don't charge you a, a viewing fee to sit out on the patio here. 
Only the Caesars restaurants do that, which is weird. Oh, I'll shut the hell up. Hey, hey, hey. More Christmas music, guys. This is Silent Night, I think. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Was that a Christmas song, guys? What's going on? They got some new playlists for the uh, for the December here. December to remember. I want to hear some BTS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for the thumbs up. Comes on, you uh, Come on, let's go back to Cosmopolitan area. We'll go. Let's go see what's happening down there. You guys want to see the the flower exhibit Cons conservatory? You guys probably seen it by now, huh? If anyone in there wants me to go in, in this way, and we could walk backwards to the new bridge, but if you're interested in that, see my video. I have edited a video on the bridge that connects Bellagio to uh, 
to the new Cosmopolitan. And again, this is the area where they haven't replaced the, uh, the trees yet. There was a series of trees here. But I actually like this. We need this open area for maybe future potential uh, like performances and so forth and so forth. And uh, yeah, I like this. It's like open now. Yeah, it's wide open. But the pillars, they're still down there for the F1 stands. So they're keeping that. So if any of you think that's going to be a one and done situation with the F1, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They're going to give it at least three more total tries, at least. At least. Yeah, they're all still here, the little concrete areas that they build. And for me personally, I wish it comes back. But hopefully they have the system down a little bit where it won't take out, you know, three months of recovery mode, whether you put it into it out here, whatever you say. There's about a three and a half month of like recovery period for the F1. Hopefully if they could hone that down to a month and a half, then I'll be down for it because that F1 thing was amazing. It was the most amazing thing I've seen on the Las Vegas Strip. I mean, in, in modern times. I mean, back then when we could walk across the street here and, you know, do that kind of stuff, that freedom that we had back then, that was the most amazing thing in my life in Vegas. But since that's out of the equation, because, yeah, back then you could just walk across the street, whatever you want. Even in Fremont, you could park a car right in front of those hotels that's a promenade. But I get that situation, the promenade down in Fremont. I love that, but in terms of here, I mean, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, but just to have that freedom where we could just walk across the street, do our thing, that was a beauty that uh, we'll, we'll never get back in, in, in Vegas history. But anyways, that's another story. The F1 thing I saw here was the most amazing thing I've seen on the Las Vegas Strip. Like by far, not even close. That thing was amazing. And uh, a lot of these people who happen to be here for F1, not the ones who bought the F1 stands or anything like that, but people who are just navigating around the street watching it, and they got a glimpse of what F1 was and heard it, all those people are probably drooling as well for it to come back. I left Paris this morning. The sidewalk, is that Julie or Jules? I'm trying to read this, my eyes are bad. Please, if you can, uh, I left Paris this morning, the sidewalk wasn't open yet. I watched them replace two of the trees. Yeah, Julie, yeah, it wasn't open yesterday, today. This whole place was sort of closed down, even to this morning. These lanes, when I was driving to Cosmopolitan, around 2 p.m. was closed. So when we caught this, it literally just opened because uh, I'll, you know what, I got to the Cosmopolitan around 12 o'clock. No, what time did I get to Cosmopolitan? We'll say one o'clock or 12, whichever the case, yeah. Even this was closed earlier in the day. So literally, we're getting this just happening and I don't think the schedule was out that it was gonna happen tonight. I think it was maybe tomorrow when the word was out, tomorrow's gonna open. So this is a little premature, but this is a good type of prematurity. So Julie, what'd you, I mean, did you leave Vegas or you, you jumped to another hotel? And if I have your name wrong, uh, excuse me, my eyes are so bad. Your screen name, I see it as Julie or Jules. Yeah, I was uh, slated to check out today. I'm on we're at Caesars Palace right now. Pretty much right there, but uh, I got. Uh, I asked for another night, see how it goes. So I'm here for at least another night, see how this pans out. And so far, so good. I got a free, uh, free buffet at Wicked Spoon earlier. So hey, hey, hey. And of course, we got to meet some new friends, earn a few new subscribers, and so forth and so forth. But yeah, so the vendors are not even out yet. So they're starting to come. Getting the news, they're probably gonna head out, start setting up, you know, because it's very rare that we have these uh, 
open areas now since these are all usually taken up by vendors now. So this is a little refreshing to feel here for a second. Hey, hey, hey. Appreciate the thumbs up, thank you. Calm's hauling me down. Huh? Beautiful weather here, guys. It's crisp. I sound a little stuffy, but that's a whole different story. But outside of that, perfect weather to enjoy this, to do your thing. It's dry, but you feel the little, little moisture in the air. Uh, people are in happy moods. Except that one guy who was honking at me, who had to flip off. Hey! <laughs> I guess, I bet you they're, oh, they're from Cal, did I, do I, do we know that guy? I don't know. It feels weird when they wave like that. Not weird, I'm like, do I know them? I'm not sure, but anyways. So last week was when all the, the Cowboys were in town, because they had the, the Super Bowl of Rodeo, uh, and it was fun. Yeah, just seeing them navigate and seeing them roaming around and all those big old trucks and seeing them gamble. Yeah, those, those cowboys, man, those ranchers. Oh, yeah, they go at it on the, on, on the blackjack table. They just sit there. And the feedback I got with the, with the friend that we met today, because he's from Denver, uh, and he knows a lot of, you know, the ranchers and the cowboy type. And he was also here, he says, for the, uh, the Rodeo Drive, or the, not the Rodeo Drive, the, the Rodeo. <laughs> I'm so Hollywood, guys. Rodeo. They were here for Rodeo Drive. <laughs> they were here to watch the Rodeo show. <laughs> no, uh, he, he was also he was breaking it down. You know what the uh, what the culture is. They said, yeah, they don't get out much over there. They just have just land and cattle and that, and they don't really have a lot of activities to do. So what they do is they work hard, make their money. Because they got that cattle money, and they say they just come out here and just, they just kind of let loose and just, you know, gamble the way they gamble and do their thing. Very fun to watch. I was over at South, South Point Hotel, and South Point has a, a facility where they host a show. Actually, they, one of the biggest rodeo tournaments they were also holding yesterday. Um, not yesterday, last week. So over there was full of, we'll just say cowboys to make it easy. Uh, they had a cowboy hat. They got some boots. Hey tuck in your shirt, in your jeans, I'll call you a cowboy. But yeah, South Point, it was very interesting for me to see that, being a little L boy. Seeing the, seeing the, appreciate all the ranchers out there, providing all the steaks that we eat, all the Korean barbecue, that gotta come from somewhere, right? From all the ranchers, yes sir, hey, hey, hey. Thank you for the thumbs up, thank you. If you have any Vegas questions, feel free to let loose. If I don't have the answer, I'll get you the answer. I was there for five glorious days. Got home today. Five glorious days. Nice. Nice. So I think we're on the same schedule because I got here on Monday and I was slated to leave today. That would have been five glorious days. Hey guys, I got my wish.
Whoa, that's explosive. It's so explosive. See, that's just... You know the song I'm talking about, guys? <laughs> hey guys, yeah, they're going hard with that song yeah, for the young folks. <laughs> Doing their mushrooms. Do they call it ecstasy or ye? Whatever they call it. Yeah, I don't condone any drug usage here, including no drinking either, right, guys? But geez, that thing was a, that's a new show, I think. So, yeah, so at six o'clock, it looks like that's when it triggers the every 50 minute intervals for the show. But before that, before 6, it's every 30 minutes from the time it starts. I think on the weekend, it starts at 3. But on the weekdays, on the weekday, I guess Friday is still a weekday then, huh? Because now it's 50 minute intervals. I was there for... Yo, Julie, so what made it so glorious? It sounds like you want some money. Yeah, that, that, no, that was, uh, that was good. So all the three songs I've heard so far, I've never heard before. So they're relatively new. Sort of like, uh, sort of like the Mandalay Bay lights that I saw the other day. I was like, whoa, like a couple of weeks ago when I was at Mandalay Bay, I, I made a notation that their exterior looked different. Their lighting situation, you know, the Ma Mandalay, the vertical lights at Mandalay Bay and Delano. Uh, I'm like, they look different. They look shinier, uh, even during the daytime. But lo and behold, on my live stream the other day, going in and out, the outside light, Mandalay Bay, the golden lights, they changed colors now. And it was like Christmas colors. I was like, whoa, right, good. That's a good move by them. Yeah, this guy is like, this guy is just like, uh, 
Come on, run people over, maybe. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that dude don't give off. He don't care. All right, let's go. Let's keep on just walking. I was thinking about going into Bellagio because I do have to navigate towards uh, Costco, <laughs> Costco, Cosmo at some point. <laughs> I do need to co uh, go to Costco as well. I run out of. Uh, Actually, I didn't bring my toothpaste. I forgot. What? Yeah, totes new shows. That was great. H Y F Y. Hiffy. Wild stuff. Are those the song titles? I, I have no clue what those mean, uh, Joy. H I F Y. Hi Fi. Oh, Hi Fi. Hi Fi. Hi Fi. Hi Fi. I was like, what's Hi Fi? Hey, hey, hey. Oh yeah, some of the lighting scheme has changed as well. They did something with the lighting scheme. Uh, they've updated some stuff here. Yeah, they put a filter. Yeah, yeah, there's a lighting scheme that's going on right now. So it looks like they've updated certain elements here. I even updated some of their uh, fountain pools because it was a little bit more explosive than it used to be. Either they just cleaned it, something is going on. But definitely there's a lighting cue that's going that way, that's changing the color of the... Uh... Oh, I'll shut the hell up. High five. High five. Wild stuff. Gosh, you young folks, I don't know what any of these mean. Thank you, Max. Never write it. Tell it to my love. Pimpy. <laughs> they need to play some Taylor Dane in here and give her some respect. People will go nuts with that Taylor Dane song. Tell it to my heart. Tell it to my <laughs> Take out that share song, because that share song, it's kind of been around too long. Put in that Taylor Dane song and let everyone know what's up. Tell it to my heart. <laughs> All right, I'll shut the hell up. Let's go. Oh, I do want to try. Okay. Crowd is coming out a little bit. That's when I'm. That I need to get the hail out. I need to get the hail out of here. I need to get the who out of here. All right. It says do not walk, so I'm not gonna walk. Hey, hey, hey. What up, what up? You're brand new in here wondering what is going on. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. We're just, I'm just walking around. We're just walking around here. The crowd's starting to, uh, starting to come out. Everyone's probably checked into their room. But every, every minute, every, every second, people are getting situated, probably putting their luggage in their rooms so forth and so forth. This is the uh, the weekend leading into the ex Christmas. Does anyone want to see the conservatory, the Christmas display? If if no one says anything, I'm gonna just walk straight. And wherever that straightness takes me, I'm gonna go just take it. But if anyone wants to see the conservatory, let me know, comment below. And thank you for the thumbs up, thank you. And in Korean, that would be Kamsa Hamida. Yeah, this car don't care. Let's go. Hey, people like, it's, Koya says, do not walk. These people are just eager to walk. Jeez, they can't wait. Jeez.
these, these, these people, these people, they all need to be just... Oh, man. And it's clearly do not walk. Yeah. Gosh, I don't, I don't know why it's so hard for people to not recognize. I mean, they, they see it, but their time is more important than, than everyone else's. It's, it's like such a gross move for me. Sorry over there, guys. If I'm, I just seeing that kind of stuff, very selfish stuff, pisses me off sometimes. Especially for the cars, that's just frustrated. He's telling me to go. And maybe that's the solution. They need to have a stop sign stoppers to have the, uh, you know, those elementary schools where you have the, you know, the grandmothers who come out and help you cross the street. Because they got a few of those on this side. Maybe that's what we need on the other side. Because those people, man, oh. Especially the one with the mother taking her adolescent and grabbing his hand and telling him to go, go. Like, that's teaching a whole brand new generation of those. All right, I'll shut the hell up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Connection's gonna be a little bit weird. Yeah, I don't know why my mind keeps on saying, my body, my mind wants to go to Aria for some reason. And that's very rare, because I don't really like Aria. But it's telling me to go to Aria, Aria. I guess from Aria, then we could go to Park MGM perhaps. Yeah, let's go, let's go to Aria. And let's go through the, uh, through the walking system here. What up, guys? Hey, hey, hey. Maybe I just want to go get some free coffee. <laughs> maybe some orange. I need some juice in my life, maybe. Some, get some vitamin C's. Get some vitamins. To, uh, maybe there's a lot of people in here. And there's a lot of people with, like, uh, coughing and stuff, too. So I need to get some... Uh, what is it called? Vitamin C antioxidants. Some preventive measures. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, let's head over to Aria. See, see what's going on over there. Take a little seat. Because from Aria, then you could go to uh, Park MGM. Then you could go to uh, New York, New York. And so forth and so forth. Or, I could jump in my car and just go somewhere else. Oof. Earlier before this live, this live stream, the other live stream was about uh, eating at Wicked Spoon. I had a buffet before uh, starting this live stream. And uh, yeah, on a scale from zero to 10, how much did I eat? I eat about maybe a eight, 7.9. So I didn't eat too much, too much. But, but it was a free buffet, guys. Free buffet in Vegas in 2023. Hoo -ah. It wasn't a casino comp. It was just straight up free, free. Cool story? All right, cool story. Oh, damn. We could go to Aria straight this way as well, huh? Uh, let's go. No, let's go this way. The connection, boom, boom, boom. It's about the same. All right, I just want to go this way. Connection is a little spotty going this Connection's bad, huh? Connection is bad. Yeah. Right. Hey, 
Hey, hey, hey. Connection is bad. Thank you for your patience. Oh yeah, now I can hear myself out there. Guess I've been in my room the all day this morning, sleeping, kind of sleeping. I was trying to figure something out on my uh, on my Apple computer. <laughs> so yeah, now this is the Chelsea side, and just like this, you have Super Frico here. Super Frico, Super Frico. I might try this restaurant. So Chelsea Tower. So if you like buffet, then you want to stay on the Chelsea side. Because from Chelsea, you just walk down from the elevator quarters, and then you got Wicked Spoon just like this. And Wicked Spoon is only uh, breakfast and brunch only, no dinner. All right, so you got Wicked Spoon here. I grab down here. Now this corridor wasn't open before. They made this and it connected to Bellagio and the MGM side since Cosmopolitan had been is will be ran by the MGM operations soon. The original date that they had was February 1st when MGM was gonna do a full integration of Cosmopolitan into MGM Rewards. But the email went out that's been postponed. So all you cosmopolitan loyalists, there's still hope. There is still hope that it could be remain separate. This bridge connects now Bellagio side, Ariel side, Aria side, MGM side into Cosmopolitan now directly. They've hooked up. They are doing it. They hooked up. So during weathers like this, or you don't want to walk outside, it's very useful. This bridge makes a huge difference on a small channel like this one. I'm kidding. You want to go to Bellagio, you go this way, boom, to the spa towers. You want to go Aria, you go this way. And this is where Vidara is, as all of you might know. And it'll smell half that distinctive Vidara smell, which smells like kind of coffee and rose together. And then a little bit of Fabuloso clean, cleaning supply. So all those three combinations, you get that Vidara, very distinct smell. <clears throat> sort of gives me a headache, but it might give you the right ache. I don't know. Cool story, cool story. Hey, hey, hey. And Vidara is a cool option to book. It's usually, usually priced a little bit less than Aria. No casinos here, but staying here actually gives you a good option because from here, you can now have three options for a casino from here. So Vidara is very resourceful. I think Vidara is still underrepresented because they feel like there's no casino here, there's no action. But it's a perfect spot. You could come here, hide out. And if you want to go to casinos now, you could go to Aria, you could go to Bellagio, and now you could go to Cosmopolitan. Any of those three casinos, you could just go right over there and hide out here in the room at Vidara. And the beauty of Vidara rooms, they're set up like a condominium because they, were, they are designed like condominiums, meaning they have a kitchen, full fridge, they have washer and drawer in most of the units. And a lot of the units you end up booking, those units, people actually live in there as well. So, well actually, you know what, I take that back. The owners of those unit, they rent it out, they source it out through I think Airbnb or some of those other, other uh, portals, but it's managed by MGM. So those people who live here at Vidara, you know, you could get one for about six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars, even like to this day. Their uh, HOA fee is fifteen hundred a month. But if you don't live here full time, and you and you rent it out a few days a, a week or a, a month, a few days a month, you get that money back. And you know, it's managed by MGM. All the cleaning, everything is managed by them. So it's sort of a thing. All right, I'll shut the hell up. This is not a real estate channel, right? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, but that's the beauty of Vidara. You could do your laundry in there. You could, you know, make pancakes. Uh, you need some, you know, pots and pan. You just call down, they'll bring you on. Um, 
I have a video on Vidara. I don't have one of me cooking in there because I've never technically booked a room in there myself. But the video I've had, uh, my friends were uh, had rooms in there, so I was able to hang out there and check the rooms out. The Vidara room video. I think it was my least popular room video out of all the room videos I have. So uh, go check it out. <laughs> Make it a little bit less less popular. Cool story. Uh, cool story. So this is Din Tai Fun, the biggest restaurant. This used to be the biggest 24-hour diner in all of Las Vegas, but now it's a Chinese Taiwanese restaurant, or should I say Taiwanese Chinese restaurant? We'll just say uh, the soup dumpling restaurant, and they're making it back there in that laboratory. Din Tai Fun, DTF. And uh, DTF means a lot of things to a lot of folks, but here it just means dumplings. And that's all it is. And look how big it is. It's huge, beautiful. It's doing its thing. Awesome to see. Ding Tai Fong. Appreciate all the thumbs up. Congratulations on 12, 1.2. Oh, Tony, thank you very much. 1.2 K. Nice. That's the perfect number. You know, because at 1.2, you know, it's, it's, it's enough to make this roll a little bit. And it's not too much where I could actually hang out with you guys personally, you know, like talk here, boom, 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 keep track of everything and not have too many nutties in here. Uh, I wish I could just keep it at that number. <laughs> well, I, I don't know how that works, but you get my point. I'm going to enjoy this while I can. And if it remains this way, and it is what it is. I'll be totally content with that as well. I don't look too far ahead, so yeah, 1.2, cool, nice, damn. Just, uh, just seems like yesterday I was trying to get, you know, 100 subscribers. Chinese New Year's will come and that's when uh, it'll get, things will get nutty here. Uh, this is a, you like hip hop, you want to go to hip hop club, Marquee is a, an option because they have a hip hop room there. And of course, you have Dre's nightclub, which is hip hop central. But Jewel is a nice option if you're looking for hip hop type of situation. Not like a mega mega club, but Jewel gets the job done. So it's an option for you younger folks or maybe some of your older folks who still like to get your club on. Here we are, we're at the entry point of Aria. And Aria is a sneaky little, little situation here. And uh, the ceiling pieces. Uh, here's an interesting Aria stat, and it's according to the rewards desk at employees. Because if you go to the rewards desk here, they don't have an express line for anyone but Noir members. Noir reward members are the top of the top, and it's one of the hardest uh, membership tiers that you can earn in all of Las Vegas, Noir, because it's pretty much, there's no mathematics, it's invitation only. So you pretty much got to be a big whale or gamble a stupid amount of money. And when I say stupid, I don't mean it in any stupid way. But anyways, over here at Aria, yeah, they don't have an express line for, you know, platinum, which is the next level down, which is also pretty tricky to get, or even gold. Over here, they say they don't have that because they say, this is what they say, which I found fascinating, which it can't be true, but I don't know why she said that or they said that. They said 70% of their guests, 70% are platinum members here, which I, I'm like, what? That doesn't make sense. All right, I'll shut the hell up. <laughs> la, 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 la. Da, 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 da. Why do you love me? Dum, 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 dum. I just got to you. They still have a, a thriving poker room table here at Aria, which is amazing. I mean, I don't ever play poker in Vegas because I can't sit there and just kind of sit there for hours. You know, I just can't. 
I wish I could. I'm a patient guy, but just, I don't want to be on a poker table. I love playing house poker games. I love that kind of stuff. You know, chill out with friends, take their money, give them money, whatever the case. You know, at least you keep the money within the family, so to speak, in the circle. But over here, you lose your money. You're never going to see that person again. But with friends, at least you have a chance to get it back. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. All right, I got to blow my nose for a second or touch up. <laughs> touch up. <laughs> I got to use the restroom as well. I've never tried Posh Burger here. I've never tried Posh Burger or the, the Money Line uh, pizza place. Everyone says Posh Burger is pretty good. So that was my thing. I was going to come over here uh, because there's this like my Vegas kind of offer. I was going to try to use that, see how that works, so forth and so forth, and sort of integrate this into a video because I've been eating a lot of burger spots and uh, at various price points. So I'm in the works of doing something like that because I love burgers, guys. It's one of my favorite food. Which is weird, right? Because in a sense, burger is so simple. You know, and that's the beauty of a burger, right? I mean, if you really break it down, like, what's going on on a burger, right? Absolutely nothing. Just some salt and pepper, basically, and some sauce, and this and this and that and that, and you eat it, and it tastes good. All right. Hey, hey. What up, guys? Am I yapping too much? Just let me know. Cut it out. Yoshi, Yoshinobu... Yakimoto. Tony, I have no idea what that means, Tony. I don't have any idea what that means. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, let me go hit the restroom. How about that? How about that? Let me figure out a way to hit the restroom. I need a little drink as well. Maybe I'm gonna drink some coffee or some orange juice. Just to kind of funnel out the system a little bit. <clears throat> Is there anything going on in Vegas that I, I could uh, sort of take advantage of? Hey, hey, hey. Hang in there, guys. I'm trying to hit the restroom, set myself up here. You know, when I first started live streaming, guys, I used to just leave my whole gimbal out on a like, little place where it's sort of hidden, but it's not. And I would just go to the restroom. But, you know, I realized that's not the smartest thing to do. It might be the smart move, but it might not be the move. Because it was very convenient. I would just kind of drop it in a corner somewhere and then just go hit the restroom and come right back. But uh, I'm convinced not to do that anymore. You know what I'm saying?
You know what I'm saying? I gotta put this thing away. Ooh, maybe we should have some dinner at Lemongrass. Ooh, maybe some dinner at Lemongrass would be cool. Maybe. I love their abalone dish. I think that might be what my body is calling. Because if I'm going to stay here for another day or so, I got to... I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so let's go hit the restroom. And uh, I don't got a gimbal, man. So, oh, guys, th this is the parking lot for Aria. And if you want to go straight to the lobby coming out from Aria, just don't go around. Just go out and then go directly this way because that's where the lobby is. To check in. I mean, it's a thing. Or if you have uh, gambling problems or issues. You don't have to walk through the uh, casino and get enticed. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes when I'm walking down here, not that I don't have a problem, sometimes I just want to go directly to the room. I just go this way and then go right here and go right up so I could avoid. Plus, anytime you spend less in a smoked room, smoky room, it's probably more healthy for you, anyways. Um, and every of those, every of your breath, br breathing or breath count. And right when I'm saying that, this guy is just puffing away, <laughs> enjoying a cigarette out here in peace. Because, oof, I mean, how glorious would that feel, you know? When you're a smoker and you come out here in this fresh breath and you could just smoke out here and just kind of let it all loose. That must be a great feeling that I'm missing out on, you know? Because, uh, yeah, I mean, smoking, I mean, it must engrave some good feelings out of you or something because a lot of people do it. It's a thing. Just, I'm trying to live vicariously through them, just coming out in this beautiful air right now, guys. Crisp. Woo, this, this weather is awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe, maybe we could jump on the tram. We could do a lot of options here. What, what's up, guys? Anyone still around? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, a few people in here still. This is perfect. I could take a little break. Um, I want to go get some orange juice, some kind of a juice in my system. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> don't ask why I'm saying that today. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. I sound like Towley from uh, South, South Park. You know what I'm saying? Marijuana is bad. Oh, maybe I need to get some B-roll here. Oh yeah, I, I need to get some B-roll. Oh, this is a cool display. All right guys, I need to get some B-roll. B-roll. That's funny I say that, because honestly guys, I rarely end up using any of these B-rolls. But I guess that's why they call it B-rolls, right? All right, well, just I'll be right, you know what, I'll do this later when it's less crowded. I don't have to do this right now. Yeah, I don't have to do this right now. Let's go, let me hit the restroom and then navigate around this. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, it's, this is cool. Kind of simple, but gets the job, gets the job done, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go here later. We'll go hit the restroom. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey right, guys, I'll be back. I'll put you on mute.
Oh, is that guest list group? Is that guest list group? Is that, is, am I right or no? Hey, can I? Can you be in the video with me? Or? I can. I'm still absolutely. live streaming, but you know, yeah. Who are you? I'm just a dude. Okay. That I, nah, you more than a dude. No, man. one of the dudes I've seen on uh, TikTok. Okay. I'm like, why is he popping up as an old motherfucker like me? Like, why? What's going on here? It's the algorithm. Man. Really? It's the algorithm. Uh, check this out, guys. Heck yeah. Hey, there's a few viewers in here, but check it out. TikTok, Jewel. We talked about this. Hit him up. What's your channel? Yep, I'm uh, uh, on, on TikTok. Get at Guestless Grip. And if you go on Instagram, it's the same thing, at Guest List Grip. Tonight, if you are in Las Vegas, Fridays at Jewel Nightclub, free entry, free drinks, all you gotta do is hit me up, 716-235-7422. I got you. Hey, <laughs> you know, it sounds too good to be true. He's not scamming nobody, man. No scams, I'll tell baby. you right now. No scams. Yeah, it, why you smell so good too, oh, yeah. man? <laughs> Cheers to that. Appreciate yeah, you, good bro. to that. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you, man. I'll All see right, you. All take right. care, Later. Yep. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's funny. Yeah. He. He's. I mean, I've never met him in person. Kinda, but. Yeah, he's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. He. I don't, I don't think he's been in LA that long either. I mean, in, in Las Vegas, but uh, he he promotes. He does his thing. And, uh, you know, if I was younger, I would go support him over there at Jewel, but you know what I mean? All right, let's go have some coffee. Huh? Oh, you are? Cool. Oh. S7, huh? Okay. Okay, let me down this real quick. Getting some coffee. They, they're closing down here. Um. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I didn't know they closed at seven.
we are close. We are close. That way? Okay. Let me grab a couple before I go. Is, is there another plant mill open that's a little later than this? Uh, not, on our area? Not at our area. No, 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 okay, right gotcha. Thank you. Are you guys close early? Yes. <laughs> later. Uh huh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, let's go back over there. Hang in there, guys. I have a lot of stuff in my hands. <laughs> I, I don't. Uh, all right. Hang in there. I'm gonna get over to the other side. You know what? I'll do it this way. Okay, you're probably tired of seeing my seeing my pocket. <laughs> yeah, the the lounge closes at seven here. Yeah. So that's what I was speaking earlier. Yeah, the lounge over at uh, M. At Mandalay Bay, they close at 11 and 12 over there. This one, they close at 7 on a Friday. Jeez, that's pretty harsh. But, you know, that was good timing. At least we got in there just in time where I could pick up some stuff. <laughs> you guys are like, what the, what the hell? Oh, hey guys, they have background machines here as well. Should we go play some? Oh, here we are. So here it is. And Dream Rewards, right? Check this out. The line here, you see the line, you see the line right now, right? Look, there's about, you know, about seven, eight people in line, 10 people maybe, right, in front of me. And that right line is the Noir. I don't ever see anyone in that line. So you're telling me these 10 people here, I'll shut the hell up. <laughs> Yeah, because every other MGM property, they have an express line for at least, you know, Noir, Platinum, and most of the time, Gold as well. But Aria is the only one that doesn't have anything but Noir Express, which is, like, why are they at the rewards desk if they're Noir? That's the weird thing, right? Because they would never go to the rewards desk if they're a Noir member. All right, I'll shut the hell up. Thank you for the thumbs up. Appreciate it. A little shaky here. I'm freestyling here. I just got, got to get to a seat and uh, enjoy this cookie and coffee and down some orange juice. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, let's go to the, uh, the sports book. Maybe there's a game going on. Let's go check out the sports book. I want to take a little break, take off my shoes, you know, let my, <laughs> let my socks ventilate a little bit. I'm at Aria, guys. Anyone's here brand new. I'm in Las Vegas, Aria. I started off uh, at uh, Caesars today. My room is at Caesars. Came over to uh, Cosmopolitan to have uh, a buffet. And uh, hey, that was cool, guys. Oh, guest list grip. He's more. Uh, on TikTok. Cool dude, just just as I imagine in person. He does the uh, club promotion. He does a lot of the uh, MGM properties. He does like Omnia. Omnia, he does Hakkasan. Uh, and then he, he did the Jewel and so forth and so forth. I'm at the sports book here. 
Got my flat white, some coffee, some cookies. Let me warm it up, warm up the cookie, put it on top of the hot coffee, warm it up a little bit. And, uh, whoosh. What's going on? Got anything anything going on? No, everyone just quiet, huh? Eat probably eating dinner? What y'all doing? So the Suns are playing the Sacramento Kings. I'm not sure what the other game is. Hurry, hurry, hurry. doing jeez guys i'm tripping right now guys what am i doing here all i, got, all I gotta do is this jeez. I'm not having my most uh glorious moment Back in 2020, as coach of the Los Angeles Lakers, and of course, Mike Brown in his 